Welcome to FNAF News, I'm your host, the TNT Muffin, and today we're going to be talking about this. So we're back with FNAF News, it's been a bit, news has been a little dry recently, but today we do have some news, so obviously the stuff in the title and thumbnail, but another thing I want to talk about is that there is apparently going to be a state of play, the PlayStation thing, that's going to be happening on the 29th, I believe that's Thursday, so this, I don't think it's going to be anything important, I just wanted to bring it up real quick. Uh, the reason I don't think it's going to be anything security breach related, uh, it's only indie games, I believe. FNAF is an indie game, but the thing with it is, uh, it's apparently just gonna be like Ratchet and Clank is the main thing and then I think there are gonna be like two other titles that they're gonna be going over so I don't think it's gonna be anything FNAF related at all uh, if it is I mean I don't know what it would even be because we already have a lot of the game we have like gotten like three trailers already uh, only one like main trailer but we basically gotten like three trailers bunch of information on the game the only thing we don't know about security breach basically is the release date so we're probably not going to be getting anything tomorrow I th or Thursday. I think it is just going to be like Ratchet and Clank and something else. I don't know if the other ones are. So now on to the main topic of the video. We're going to be talking about a Fazbear Frights book, the 10th book. We now have the cover for it. Here it is. So the 10th book is Friendly Face. And you can see on the cover it is some kind of cat character with a friendly face. It's a very strange cover. So Friendly Face, I was kind of expecting, I mean obviously not actually Friendly Face, I was expecting something like a creepy smile or something, sounded maybe like something similar to Jeff the Killer or something like that. I definitely didn't expect this thing. Very strange, I've gotta say. Uh, so it is a new cat character. Judging by the image, I'm assuming it's an animatronic cat, not an actual cat, with some kind of strange face. Uh, so if you've been wanting a cat animatronic other than Candy from Five Nights at Candy's, I guess we get one, but this isn't what you were hoping for, I'm assuming. Uh, but, I don't know, very interesting character design, definitely not what anybody expected. Also, very strange. Yeah, just very, very strange design. And I'm really curious what the story is gonna be about. I'm not really sure what kind of story they're gonna have with some kind of cat animatronic with like a doll face. The fact that this is the cover kind of concerned me a little bit about the other two stories that are going to be in this book. Fazbear Frights books are always three stories and if the main cover is this thing I'm kind of concerned about what the other two are going to be. Maybe Scott was just wanting this to be the main thing because it looks funny because it does. It looks pretty silly uh, but I mean maybe the other ones just don't look interesting. Maybe they're still good stories it just looks like a very strange character. Who knows? I mean if you haven't watched some of my other news videos, you may not know that there are only going to be 11 Fazbear Frights book and a bonus one. Uh, but so this is the 10th book, which means that the next Fazbear Frights book is going to be the final one. I don't believe we have any information on the 11th one just yet, just that it's going to be the final one. Well, anyway, that's all the news we have today. If you want to subscribe, click the button on top of my head. If you want to watch one of my last news videos, you can click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video I made, click that button over there. And I'll see you hopefully soon. Hopefully we get some news soon. I'm not sure.